Welcome everyone. I work for the Washington Student Achievement Council, which oversees the Washington State Gear Up Grant at your school. My name is Annie Pocklington and I'm excited to be with you again today for another virtual campus visit. Today, Adrian is here with us to talk about Seattle University. But before we dive in, a few quick housekeeping needs. So if you haven't already, please turn off your camera. We also need you to change your name. So use your first and last name as well as your high school name. You can change your name by hovering over yourself in the participants list um, or in your black box video, the three dots there, by clicking more and then rename. If you are unable to do this, don't sweat about it. Um, just drop your full name in high school into the chat box now and I will make sure that we take attendance that way. You are muted for recording purposes. So just a heads up, if you have a question, you're gonna go ahead and put that into the chat and I will be reading them to, the get, to our guest at the end of the presentation today. If we don't get to your question or something comes up after this session, we encourage you to reach out to our guest or to myself so we can assist you in getting the information that you need. All right, so this virtual visit series is set up for you to compare and contrast institution institutions based on your own personal wants and needs. So all of our institutions in Washington State are really great, but they do provide different things for different students. So be sure that you think about what you'd like to study, what you want your daily life to look like, what housing options you need, and if you'd consider getting a job on or around campus. You'll also want to consider cost, financial aid opportunities, and anything else that's important to becoming your best self while attending college. So this personal reflection is of course of utmost importance. So make sure that you're taking notes of some form today. You can find a guided reflection on our website. Um, it's just a quick activity that walks you through some questions to think about. You can also explore all of the institutions across the state um, by using this interactive map by Wacan. So I'll make sure to drop both of these links in the chat once I pass things off to our guest. But first, a big picture overview of Seattle University so you can begin situating yourself in your reflection. Seattle University is located in Seattle, Washington. It's about an hour and a half from Ellensburg in the middle of the state and about four hours from Spokane on the east side. Seattle University is an independent school or what we often call a private four-year university. It's a mid to large university with about 7,000 students, so somewhere between five and 10,000. Now that you know the basics, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it off to Adrian, our Seattle University expert who can tell you more. Great. Hi, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I know you all have a lot of different demands and realities. And for many of you, this is so far from how you thought you'd be getting to know colleges. But I'm certainly grateful for the chance to connect with you in this virtual world and share a little bit more about what we think makes Seattle U unique um, and hopefully allow you to imagine yourself as a member of our community. I'm going to jump right in and start sharing my screen. Um, that was a great introduction. Um, so I'm not going to repeat myself, but hopefully um, I'm just going to continue on based on who we are um, and where we are. Um, hopefully everyone can hear me okay and see my screen. Um, as um, you mentioned, we are a private Jesuit Catholic University located right in the heart of Seattle. Students that are excited about Seattle U are kind of looking for the best of both worlds. They really value a small, close-knit community that will be their home base and that traditional college experience. But at the same time, they're excited by everything the city of Seattle has to offer. They love that they can spend all day in class meeting in a small group for a project or with other student leaders in their clubs or organizations, but at the same time walk two or three blocks off campus and go to their part-time job or attend um, a concert or go to our local independent bookstore. Uh, we're walking distance from some of the city's best music venues, art galleries, restaurants, and coffee shops and live up to every Seattle stereotype. We have a hundred different coffee shops within a mile of campus. Um, as was noted, we kind of are a mid-sized university with about 4,700 undergraduate students, and every year we welcome about 1,000 first-year students. 
Um, other things to note that really um, are part of our experience is our deep commitment to service learning um, and service projects. Four out of five of our students will complete some type of service um, experience during their time at CLU. Um, also, our deep commitment to sustainability, we're constantly on those lists for top green schools. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, our deep commitment to undergraduate teaching and experience. Um, our engineering programs, for example, are the top 50 undergraduate engineering programs in the country. Um, and our strong career outcomes. So we'll talk about all of this and more. But first, you know, I wish I was here to welcome you to our campus, but the next best thing I think would be to introduce you via video. So I have a um, aerial campus tour to show you. It's longer than um, we have time for, so I'm gonna stop it at about four minutes and 25 seconds, but hopefully it'll give you an introduction to who we are and where we are. Welcome to Seattle University. We can't wait to show you around our beautiful eco-friendly campus located in the heart of the Emerald City. Home to 7,500 students across eight undergraduate, graduate schools, and colleges, Seattle University is a Jesuit Catholic institution known for attracting adventurous and engaged students who strive to make a difference in their communities and in the world. This aerial tour will allow us to give you a bird's eye view of our campus, but also give you a sense of the surrounding area as well. You will be able to see our awesome neighborhoods where our off-campus student life opportunities thrive, and some of the cool professional development opportunities you can take part in with companies such as Amazon, Microsoft, Zillow, and Starbucks, located right in our backyard. We want to show you the neighborhoods that surround our campus and the different pockets of culture that lie in each. To the east, you have the recently designated Central Area Arts and Cultural District, a diverse cultural hub with a rich history. The Northwest African American Museum explores the history, culture, and art of African Americans in the Pacific Northwest. Central Area Art Institutions celebrate educator Thelma DeWitty, poet Langston Hughes, painter Jacob Lawrence, sculptor James Washington, and playwright August Wilson. Cultural events include the Emoja Fest and Earshot Jazz Festival that celebrate African American history, music, film, dance, and theater. The center of Seattle's LGBTQ community, the Capitol Hill neighborhood offers endless entertainment from morning till night. Arguably the hippest neighborhood in Seattle, it's the epicenter of coffee culture, clubs, and the site of some of Seattle's biggest events like block parties and the Pride Parade. Volunteer Park, top the hill in a historic mansion district, has walking trails, a plant conservatory, panoramic city views, and the Art Deco Asian Art Museum. If you look to the north of downtown, you'll see South Lake Union, which has been growing rapidly over the past few years. This is one of the hubs of Seattle Tech, home to Amazon Global Headquarters, Google Cloud, and Facebook. At Seattle University, we want to make sure students are having the opportunity to apply their knowledge in the classroom in other settings. The internships available to students span a variety of different industries across the city. Healthcare at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, Swedish Medical Center, or Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. Nonprofits, such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation or Mary's Place. And tech at Amazon, Zillow, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, T-Mobile, or Nintendo. Our location offers an amazing place for students to really connect with their goals and growth opportunities. Our career engagement office on campus helps. Uh-oh. Um, well, I wasn't planning to stop there. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened. I apologize. Um, it's the only area of the continental United States was Amazon, Zillow, Facebook, Google, oh, Microsoft, T-Mobile, or Nintendo. Our location offers an amazing place for students to really connect with their goals and growth opportunities. Our career engagement office on campus helps students secure and find internships and job opportunities that fit their interests and skill set. Through career coaching appointments and workshops, students can narrow down their professional goals. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Thank you so much. Apologies for the issue there. I'm going to keep going on our slides and I'm also going to put um, this in the chat. I know it didn't quite work and I apologize for that. Welcome to oh. Seattle University. We can't wait to show you. Okay, I'm sorry everyone. I'm trying to get out of this and I'm struggling a bit. Go around our beautiful oh eco-friendly. The joys of technology, huh? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and get out of this. I apologize. So, um, as I mentioned, this is on YouTube. It's an aerial campus tour. It's about 10 minutes. So, it is a really great way to get to know us um, and the university. I now have it locked on my screen, so I'm struggling a bit and getting it out. Welcome so, I apologize. 
minus moment. Um, thank you for the supportive messages in the chat. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a funky old laptop and everything is a struggle these days. I just got out of it though. So I'm gonna um, jump back into sharing my screen with all of you. Um, and before I go to the slide itself, I'm gonna pull up um, our programs and majors, which is the first thing I wanted to start with you today. Um, hopefully you all can now see the program and majors um, on the screen. I'm hoping for confirmation in the chat or on someone's video. Um, yeah, great. Okay, so getting to know Seattle U. Um, we have 65 undergraduate majors and programs for you to choose from across five um, colleges. Um, and there's everything from accounting to criminal justice, psychology, philosophy, foreign language department, nursing, um, computer science, engineering, so certainly a mix. So as you get to know us, I certainly encourage you to get to know each major as well. You'll find them all listed here. And the way I got to it was through academics and then undergraduate majors and degrees. Um, as was mentioned, we do have both graduate and undergraduate programs on campus, but when you take away our law school, as well as our College of Education, we're first and foremost an undergraduate institution, and you can really get to know our programs by clicking here. Um, I'm going to just give you an experience by first going to communication and media, and just an idea of what to know and how to get to know us. You'll find program summaries, a degree requirements, a profile of faculty and staff, information about news and events, as well as some distinguishing elements of the program, which I think is really helpful. Um, programs do a really good job of not only kind of giving more students stories, but helping you understand who and how to connect. You'll see almost every department will have both the chair listed and the admin assistant. So if you have specific questions or want to talk to a professor, um, this is a really great way to do it. Um, we'll also talk about other ways to do it um, in a moment. I'm going to go back now, fingers crossed with all the joys of technology, to um, the slide that comes next. Thank you all for your patience with me. Um, I'm going to just keep going. Perfect. Okay. So. As I mentioned, we have 65 different majors to choose from. Um, and regardless of the college that you end up, you're going to find that you're going to have access to strong academic advisors. Um, there's advising centers in each college that are really meant to be your first point of contact. Um, as you figure out and explore different majors and programs, think about your four-year plan, think about can I double major or minor, um, as well as thinking about studying abroad. Um, so know that you'll have that support. Um, they have drop-in chats as well as one-on-one -on -one appointments um, and are really meant to be your go-to person as you navigate the LU. Um, I showed you the website for undergraduate programs, but I would also encourage you to explore other things. For example, one of the most distinguished programs we have at CLU is called Pre-Major Studies. It's the only program like it on the West Coast. And it's essentially both an advising department and an academic department just for undecided and undeclared students. And I now like tell all of the students that I'm working with to start here. If you don't know what you want to major in, that is completely okay. And what I love about CLU is we're not just gonna put you into classes and hope it all works out. We're going to have an advisor helping you figure out what major makes the most sense for your strengths, for your interests, for your short-term and long-term career goals. So please, please, please consider pre-major studies as you think about your major at Seattle U. Additionally, we have a lot of really great advising programs as well as places to start. So if you, you know, eventually want to go to law school, what's great about that is you can really major in just about anything. But you'll have a pre-law advisor helping you think about what classes do I need to take? How can I stand out as an applicant in pursuing internships and research opportunities? Um, and they'll be working with you when you eventually apply. We also have programs like pre-engineering, pre-business, and pre-science that if you think you kind of know what you want to major in, but perhaps you can't decide between biology or chemistry um, and you're thinking about that, um, just note that you have some really great options. 
And last but not least, what I do love about Seattle U is our core curriculum really allows you to explore a wide variety of different things. The sequence of 12 courses at Seattle U. Um, and you get everything from a math and a writing requirement to a science and ethics requirement to my personal favorite, the creative expressions requirement, where you'll find beginning piano or improv or digital photography. So certainly a cool mix of classes to look forward to. Okay. I'm also going to talk about careers and outcomes, because obviously you're thinking not only about the next four years, but also what are you going to do with that degree? So I'm really excited to share a few things. One, we have a lot of alumni connections um, and professional connections within the Seattle area and beyond. Um, what I love about our program is if you were to look at the four-year plan for any major, you find that almost all of them has some type of internship, job placement, or senior project that ensures that you have the chance to really narrow down what you want to do and how you want to do it and what work environment you thrive in. And most of the students I know will graduate within um, four years having completed two to five different internships. Um, sometimes during the week, others during summer, but you certainly will have no shortage of opportunities. Um, you'll see this job placement right here for the class of 2016. Within six months of graduation by college, um, these alumni were either fully employed in graduate school or in the military. So certainly a high um, placement right there. Our liberal arts graduates are also some of the highest paid in the country. Other programs to note about, I mentioned our pre-science, pre-engineering, and pre-law, but we also have pre-health for those of you that are thinking about medical school or maybe becoming a physical therapist. You're going to have a lot of support to do that. We also have pre-education. Um, we also have a center for career engagement, which does everything from workshops on how to build your resume and how to find an internship or a part-time job to working with recruiters who come to campus and meet with students or um, planning our summer internship fair, which happens every spring on campus in a non-COVID world. Uh, we also have a center for community engagement, which really allows you to get really meaningful work experience through our service projects and partners. So know that that's a great um, thing to keep in mind. And on top of that, I would just refer you all to cleu.edu slash impact, which does a really good job talking about career outcomes um, and our professional connections um, in the Seattle area and beyond. And I see there's questions, but I have been instructed to wait till the end, so I'm not ignoring you, I promise. Um, and I'll, we'll see how much time we have, and you can certainly follow up with me. I also want to talk about demographics. That was certainly a question um, that was asked as I prepared for this presentation. You'll see here um, the ethnic breakdown of our incoming first year class from last year is here. Obviously, diversity means a lot of different things um, across every institution. What I hope you know is diversity and inclusion is a core value um, at Seattle U. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, we are a predominantly white institution, and that means a lot of different things to different people. But what I hope you also see here is that we have more than 25 different cultural and identity-based groups on campus. We have multiple community and campus resources. Um, and we are deeply committed to the success of every student, but also really think intentionally about how do we ensure that every single one of our students is able to bring all of their many identities to our campus community and find multiple communities that they feel at home in. Um, I'll also note that diversity groups take a lot of different forms. Um, religious diversity, we have a really active Muslim Student Association and Jewish Student Union on campus. Um, we have international students um, that compose about 10% um, of our student body from more than 60 different countries. Um, and we have a wide variety of social and economic diversity as well. Um, so know that you'll have a lot of support, but we certainly want to share those numbers for you as you get to know us and think about what it might feel like to be on campus. I'm also here to just share that you can have a lot of fun on our campus. You're going to find that traditional college experience that is looking or is mentioned that, you know, housing is required and guaranteed those first two years you're with us. And we don't just put you in a residence hall, but we actually put you in a themed community. So you might find yourself in the STEM hall or the career exploration hall or the um, creative expression hall, where you'll be living with people who have the same interests as you and want to get to know Seattle U and Seattle in similar ways. 
And so your residential advisor, as well as your residential council, will plan events with those themes in mind, um, both excursions off campus, but also study breaks as well. Um, and your, your first year, you'll typically be in a double or a triple. Um, students love our rooms because not only do they have amazing views, most of them you can see either at the city or Mount Rainier. Um, there's great study rooms as well as kitchens where you can check out beer for dinner parties with friends. Um, in addition to that, our uh, residence hall councils are often the first way students really get involved as leaders on campus. You can represent your hall um, in developing both programming and events, but also in advocating for things that will make your residential life experience um, even better. Um, on top of that, we have 14 on-campus dining locations. Our main dining hall is on the second floor of the Student Center. Um, and you'll find everything from a sushi and poke station to a salad bar to a hamburger station to a walk station to a campus or excuse me a neighborhood eat station um, which highlights a different restaurant or seattle neighborhood each week um, we also have a food station just dedicated for students um, with specific food allergies or for our vegan and vegetarian students as well um, beyond what's already there also, um, we have more than 130 different student clubs and organizations on our campus. Um, everything from the e-gamers club to the fashion club to the photography club um, to the film club to our on-campus radio station, we will certainly keep you busy. Every fall as part of our welcome week, we have an involvement fair where all of our student clubs take over the squad and you have a chance to connect. Many students sign up for 10 or more groups and they try out a bunch of clubs. Um, and find community that way. Um, there's also a lot of events that students look forward to every year. Um, you'll see some of the pictures listed here. Um, the top one, is, if you see the musician, is from Quadstock, which is our big spring music festival um, that takes place on campus. Um, the group of students in the photo booth is from our um, Fall ball, which I joke is kind of like major college prom. It's at a major venue in the city of Seattle. Um, it's been at the aquarium, it's been at the Museum of Pop Culture, and it's a really fun night in the city and students get dressed up. Um, the photo of the cheerleader is actually a member of our dance team. Um, we are a Division I school. We're part of the Western Athletics Club um, and have everything from basketball to soccer, track, um, and tennis. Um, and so students really look forward to those games throughout the year. And then in the spring, we have different events every year celebrating all of the many identities and cultural organizations on campus. You'll see this photo at the bottom is from the Luau, but we also have a really significant international dinner among many other things. Um, additionally, some of my favorite events include um, Be Stressed with Dogs, where staff and faculty read their dogs on campus right around finals week. That's a really nice study break. Okay, I want to be mindful of time, but I do want to talk about admissions and what we look for. You'll see our middle 50% for GPA, or another way to think about it, 75% of our students were admitted. If you do have a 3.4 GPA or above, but what I really want you to know is we look at absolutely everything. We want to get to know you and who you're becoming. We want to know the challenges you face and what you've learned. We want to know what your teacher says about you and how you interact in the classroom environment, what your counselor says about you and who you are in the context of your graduating class, your high school community, and your community at large. Um, we want to know your own story that you tell through your personal statement and the activities that you've been involved in. Um, you'll see here that we have two deadlines. Um, one is early action, which is November 15th. That's the non-binding one, so regardless of when you apply, you do have um, until May 1st to make your final college choice. Um, and then regular decision is January 15th, um, and you'll hear from us the last week of March. Going a little fast because I want to leave room for questions, but I do certainly want to talk about cost and affordability and our cost of attendance. So I do not say this lightly when I tell you that our cost of attendance is about $65,970. I know that's an enormous number and a big investment for any family. What I also hope you walk away with today is that 91.5% of our students receive some type of financial aid whether that's merit scholarships, need-based grants, or some of our many scholarships at CLU. You'll see that we have merit scholarships that range from eight to $25,000 per year for each of the four years that you're with us. But also we have a lot of need-based um, aid. We have 
scholarships that include the Costco scholarship, which is for students from underrepresented um, backgrounds or first generation college students. Um, we have the Sullivan Leadership Award, which is our four year tuition and room and board scholarship given to nine students every year. You do have to apply early action to be considered, so keep that in mind. We also have a STEM scholarship, a choir scholarship, a theater scholarship, um, an honors scholarship, an ROTC program on campus, as well as athletic scholarships. So please know there's a lot of different ways um, to come to Seattle U and we do everything in our power to make it possible for you to attend. I'm going to wrap it up here, but just know um, we look forward to working with you this year and beyond. We're here to support you. I'm excited that you're considering Seattle U um, and I hope I can answer your questions both now or by email that you see here. I'm going to stop my share and hopefully come back for questions. Thank you everyone. Awesome. Thank you so much, Adrian. I think, um, did you say you might have had a few questions in the chat? I did. Um, should I start there? Yeah, go, go for it. Okay, so first, this is a great question. Um, you know, I did mention that we are a Jesuit Catholic university. What does that mean? And do you have to be Catholic to attend? Thank you so much for bringing this up. Absolutely not. So um, the Jesuits are an order within the Catholic Church who were founded to create more educational opportunities for more people. In fact, only about 20 to 25% of our students identify as Catholic. Um, and as I mentioned, we have a really strong Jewish student union, Muslim student association. The vast majority of our students really don't identify as very religious, they are more spiritual. Um, and so what I've been told from our students is, you can have any experience you're looking for at Seattle U. Many of our students choose us because of our city location and the internships that we have and the campus life that we have. And not necessarily because of our Jesuit Catholic identity, um, but we really want to ensure that absolutely every member of the campus community feels comfortable. You will not be required to attend mass. Um, there is a religious studies requirement um, at Seattle U, but it really acknowledges all religions and um, really sees religious as a discipline. So you'll find classes under that like challenges to religious faith, um, God, money, and politics, Buddhism, and film. Um, so certainly a mix there. Um, and I really appreciate that question. Um, let's see what else. I have, another, I have one here for you. We've had a few students ask about transfer. Um, the questions are a little vague, so I'm not sure exactly what the question is, but maybe it looked like you had um, a little info about transfer students. So uh, how do I ask this? Like, what is the process for a student to transfer and how would a transfer student experience be different than a student who maybe comes their first year? That's a great question. So first of all, there are so many pathways to Seattle U and we, are so lucky to have our transfer students. Um, every year, in addition to the 900,000 um, first year students we welcome, we welcome 400 to 500 transfer students. Um, most of them join us in the fall, but you can join us every single quarter. Um, there's rolling admissions, and you'll find priority deadlines on the website. Um, and certainly, we have a whole transfer team able and excited to support you. Um, there are specific scholarships and merit scholarships for transfer students. Um, many students come from local community colleges and universities, um, and we'll certainly work with you to kind of plan for that transfer. If you have more than a year of college credit, you're kind of expected to be on your way to being major ready. Um, but obviously that means different things for different students. I hope that helps. Yeah, I think so. I think you answered a whole bunch of questions in one, so thank you for that. Um, just a reminder to students, we have a lot of questions in here about um, you know, major and minor kind of specific what degrees and programs are offered, we really encourage you to check out Seattle U's website and um, utilize that link that Adrian was showing you where you could explore those things. Um, so thank you for those great questions and we encourage you to check out what Seattle U um, showcases on their website. Any other questions in your chat box, Adrian? Let me go through it, and I'm putting again the um, program link. Oh, that'd be awesome. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, going back up, thank you for all the wonderful comments. You'll also see I put the virtual tour in the chat, so hopefully that's helpful. There was a question about ASL classes. Unfortunately, we don't have an ASL program at Seattle U, but I know um, Seattle Community College, which is 
really down the street from us does. So I've heard of students who will take that as an elective and the credit will transfer back. Um, but we do have everything from Arabic, Japanese, Chinese, um, French, Italian, um, and Spanish at CLU for those of you that are thinking about languages. Um, let's see. The next question I got of, is about um, living on campus and how you go to Seattle U if you live far away. Um, that's a really great question. Um, so most of our students, about nine, more than 95% of our students for the first two years do live on campus, um, even as Washington State residents. So we'll work with you. Um, and obviously your financial aid, um, we try our best to, if you have needs beyond just tuition to also meet that room and board requirement as much as we can. Um, it means different things for different students. If you do have family within 20 miles of our campus, you can petition to live with your family and commute to campus. And we certainly do have a lot of resources for our commuter students. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. Um, and most of our students do not have cards or bring cards, especially those first two years that they're with us. Um, we have major bus lines on either side of campus. We have a streetcar um, that takes you all the way down to the International District and the stadium. We have the light rail, which takes you all the way up to the University of Washington, all the way down to the airport, um, as well as to downtown. So you'll certainly have a lot of ways to get around without a car. I'm seeing some more program specific ones, but I can confirm we have photography um, and we also have some really great art programs um, where the Capitol Hill is one of the top 10 arts districts in the country. So there's some very cool ways um, to explore and study the arts. Yeah, um, I did get a question about, do you need a high school degree to join or can you take classes early? Um, that's a great question. Um, most of our students would that are Joining us will either have graduated from college and directly enroll or will join us as a transfer student. We do have some pre-collegiate programs, so that would mean that you're still a high school student but maybe take classes over the summer with some of our awesome faculty. Um, so stay tuned to learn more about that. Um, but typically, um, you would join us after high school. Um, if anyone's doing Running Start, you would still be a first year student with college credit. And that creates some really cool opportunities as well because you know you might graduate early or you might have a lot of space to go abroad or double major. So know that that's certainly an option as well. Are you seeing any more questions? Well, I got a comment about financial aid that I just want to uh, briefly touch on. So sometimes when we see sticker prices for institutions, we think, oh my gosh, I would never be able to pay for that. Um, and that is a totally reasonable ex uh, response, absolutely. Um, but we do want to remind students that we have awesome financial aid applications in Washington. So you submit one financial aid application, but you can submit the FAFSA or the WASFA, and both of those um, help cover the cost of tuition. So oftentimes students think they won't be eligible or there won't be enough money there. And oftentimes that's just not the case because the institutions that are offering up those um, financial awards or you know the Department of Ed, the state of Washington, they're very aware of the cost of college and they wanna make sure that you can go on and um, pursue education as well. So until you get your financial aid award and see what number you are offered, please don't put any college options off the table because of cost. Um, there are also awesome grants and scholarships out there and your gear up coordinator can tell you more about those options available to you. So please make sure that you are reaching out to folks in your corner. So your teachers, your counselors, your gear up coordinators, um, they are more than happy to help you navigate those financial um, what seem like really big burdens. And that's totally understandable to feel that way. So I just want to clear that up. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I'm so sorry if I didn't emphasize that enough. Um, you know, nine, more than 91% of our students are going to Seattle U with some type of scholarship, grant, or need-based aid. It is very common. The vast majority are not paying those big, scary numbers. The average package per year in terms of financial aid and scholarships is $35,000. But again, that's an average. There's more um, students and families will receive more if their need is higher. So we really try to work with you um, to seriously consider Seattle U, and we certainly recognize that that cost is a big factor. I also want to make sure I highlight that we have a program for those of you that are enrolled in the College Bound Scholarship. We have something called the Seattle U Bound Scholarship that if you are enrolled in College Bound and 
have a 3.5 GPA or above, your full tuition at Seattle U is covered. Um, and there's not a set number of that. If, if you were in college bound and have a 3.5 GPA or above, you can expect us to meet full tuition. So please know that that's an option as well. Awesome, thank you. And and for students who um, hear College Bound and don't know if they signed up or can't remember or want to check in on that, go ahead and check in with your Gear Up coordinator or a counselor at your high school, and they will help you figure out if you signed up and if you're still eligible um, and all those things. So sometimes we just forget that we signed that piece of paper, but it could very well still be available to you. So just make sure that you are talking and asking questions and reaching out to people who are there to support you. Um, we are running low on time. So I am going to say thank you to everyone for being here with us today. And a special thanks to Adrian and Seattle U for all of their time and information. Um, you can find this recording and our future virtual visit dates, as well as our previously recorded visits at gearup.wa.gov. Again, reach out to your Gear Up coordinator for more information and we will see you next time. Thank you.